When I say I've had maximum requests for me to react to this video, mate. Okay? I'm saying I've had MAXIMUM REQUESTS PLEASE! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper Site. How the devil are you, mate? Today, we're going to be looking at a little channel called Mind CTV. Make sure you go to their channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Mm. All right, mate, I'm telling you, the requests I say uh, have come my way. I'm a poet, I don't even know it. Right, it's, it's been on another level. This video is supposed to be absolutely amazing. And you know how much I love Mind CTV, okay? I've emailed them, by the way. I want them to come onto the podcast. I, I, come onto my podcast, Mind TV, mate. We've got maximum stuff to talk about. This video is called Scariest Video Ever Recorded. Almost stopped the entire show. Like, what the F? What the actual F, mate? And I'm sorry I haven't reacted to it sooner. It's just I like to give channels uh, like like their, their time for their views to just settle a little bit before reacting. Otherwise, I think it's just unfair. But anyway, mate. Wow. I'm so looking forward to this. Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, my this CTV. This is the scariest investigation that I have ever done in my life. This is one of those questioning what the f we're doing type of places. I needed a little bit of time after this investigation. Oh, what mate. Can happen? I'm getting shivers already. What did you just ask him? I can't keep seeing shit like this. I can't keep experiencing shit like this. Oh, you fucking did, did you? You did the Ouija board, didn't you? Yes, you fucking did, mind CTV. Let's go. Let's leave, dude. Yeah, let's get the oh, on, man. The investigation almost stopped the entire show. I was about to just say, the spirit box. I'm not going in there for dude, that. Dude, I'm not going back in there. And the back door to the house is just sitting like this. Oh, shit. Mate, you, hey, hey, listen, Mindseed, hello, Mindseed, you've got a, 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 a special spectacular way of giving me the fucking goose chicken but fucking skin, mate. Yes, you bloody have. Let's go. Let's go. Like, it's a heavy feeling here. More than any of the other spots you have been on. My mind isn't even ready to form My words. mind's telling I'm me no. Still. Without even a second thought or look or guess or asking each other's opinion, we were fucking gone. Motherfucker, I'm gone! I'm gone! The following content may be considered disturbing to some viewer. Discretion is advised. Oh. Every person has their limits. Not me, mate. I just fucking ramble it. Sometimes those limits are exceeded and it becomes too much. We received an email from an older couple that claims their house has some sort of evil presence residing on their property. They didn't want to be on camera or have our initial interviews recorded, but some of the details of this location were very grim. Apparently, the last couple that lived in the home had marital problems and there was an affair of some sort. Oh. After the husband found out, no one could get in touch with the wife for several weeks. And eventually, her body was found in the lake behind the house. Oh, shit! Man, that's straight from a fucking horror movie! Since the current owners moved in, they've been experiencing all sorts of strange events within the home. Oh, mate, would you move into a house that you know there's been a murder? Huh? Would you? Answers below, yes or no. Just a simple yes or no. Objects moving on their own, doors slamming in the middle of the night, and oddly, an increase in pest activity any time that they encounter some paranormal activity. They told us about one incident where spiders were coming out of the AC vents while doors were opening and closing on their own. Oh, fucking hell. They believe that the two are linked. Fucking locusts and shit coming through, mate? God. This was the first time that we had heard anything like this. As strange as it sounded, Colton and I knew that we had to go and check this place out. Fucking come on, man! Uh! 
Yeah! Oh! Mighty! TV! Honor! Another level, y'all! I'm so fucking hyped! Maximum Hypees! Ah! <sighs> okay. A bit of rush then. Every single location that we do has its own... its own thing. Its own scary aspect of what's there on top of the scary. And from my immediate recollection, this is gotta be of its type, the scariest investigation that I have been a part of. Like, this is one of those questioning what the fuck we're doing type of places. Oh shit. This place doesn't have a name either. This is fucking weird. Yeah. No way this gate works. You hear that? Oh my god. Oh, it does. What? This is the noisiest quiet I've ever heard in my life. Hey, throw your high beams on. The noisiest what? Oh, the noisiest quiet? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what are we actually getting into here? It was the loudest ambience that I've ever heard in my life. The crickets, the birds, the, the frogs, and um, just pulling up to the house, you could feel that something was off. They said that... The <laughs> I love it, man. There's something off, isn't there? Whenever you... <laughs> something's not right around about this place. <laughs> the house is weird shit. Went down. It's a nice house, though. Yeah, turn right. Some more? Is that the, uh... Is that their stable? Like, their little barn oh, there? The... You know what? Yeah, pull up to that. Let's just check that out real quick. Shit, so this, hang on, the, 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 the massive house, mate, a fucking stable, a private lake, or the F, on another level. There's the lake back oh there, yeah, yeah. God. There's a lake back over there. Maximum property, please! What the fuck is on the road right here? Is there a stump? I don't know. Thank God for trips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just let's. You know what? Leave the headlights on. Let me just let me see what's up with this. Okay. Yeah. Their 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 music choices. Their music choices are so damn good, aren't they? All right. Because I know their music's pretty good as well. Though. They they've got their own band and that. But like you know, they they've just got a great way, mate. A great way of getting the ambiance. I walked through there just to take a look to see what it looked like. I didn't really feel too much the first time that I walked in there. Oh, hello. Hello. Anybody home? Can a horse just pops his head out <laughs> and probably won't speak. If it did, mate, motherfucker, I'm gone! <laughs> Just remember about the history of this place as well, then mate. Then we entered the house. Though that noise, so, that would keep you up all night, wouldn't it? Let me just show what's out here. It's so fucking loud. Yeah. No wonder they fucking had arguments and shit. They probably never slept a day in their life, the, the married couple. Jesus. Fuck. 
That does look spooky as shit. Hello. Man. Shit, mate, I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge, mate. A lot of horse pictures in here. It's cool. I said we just do like a full sweep. Yeah, clear it out, mate. Clear it out. Let's do a full sweep with the Avilas, too. The first thing that we did, which is what we always do, we did a scan with the EMF detector. Uh -huh. Typically, we like to walk the whole area, the whole property, and see if there's any kind of blips, see if we're getting any kind of reading that might indicate where we should be doing our major testing at. Okay. That's a good idea, actually. Because whenever I've investigated, I've just gone around with the... The, the, you know, the thing. And yeah, if we get, if we get high sort of like stuff going on, that's when we'll sort of sit down and go, okay, this is the area, mate. Or we'll just look for a, a, a creepy place. But sometimes the, the most looking creepiest places is probably the most calm, you know? It's the odd ones. It's the odd ones you've got to look out for. Yeah, the odd areas. So you think that nothing's going to happen here, but oh, yes, it does. This is giving me fucking anxiety. Hold on. You got it too, right? Oh. Like it's a heavy feeling here. More than any of the other spots we've been yeah, in. Yeah, no. I mean, honestly, I'm just, I don't know if it's like, poof. You know what this is giving me about? Oh. Remember uh, Aunt Tina's house? Remember that episode that That's I did in season why. one? And then we went back? I, I know what they're saying about that sort of atmosphere. If when they say heavy, it feels like um almost like a, a claustrophobic type um I don't know. Yeah, it's like a thick atmosphere that you're trying to walk through. Like almost like you're in a sort of a bubble of some sort, you know? That was like a fucked house. There was like yeah. evil shit happening. What there, was that you ticking? Know? Oh bro. Come on, dude. What? We noticed that the back door of the property was wide open. And oh, when I say shit. wide open, I mean the slider leading to the back door that leads to the lake was just wide open. The fucking sliders are both wide open and the back door of the house is just sitting like this. Dude, I'm not stoked because like what could have slithered and crawled in here? Oh and shit, yeah. yeah. Snakes, mate. F that shit. And spider, everything. Yeah, but I'm just saying like, why is this open, bro? Nobody had been there for days. We don't know why it was like this, but it was definitely unsettling. It's almost like someone just fucking either came in or went out of the back of the house and left everything wide open. What's back here? I don't know. Just walking around that house, mate, just the thought of the murder that's happened there, you know? You could just imagine her, like, coming out of the lake in her white dress, like, oh, I'm so cold. I need warmth. And then just every night doing that at fucking half past three at night. Half past three at night. Oh, I'm so cold. Oh, God. Coming from the lake, that door right there was wide open. That's her mate walking in. Shit in hell. Side note, off camera. Uh -huh. This shit makes me really fucking uneasy out here, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. No shit. I don't know what it is. You feel it too, right? Uh -huh. You feel it? <laughs> Maximum tattoo, please! Mate, that's on another level, that ain't it? Maximum vibrancy. Oh, like, yeah. Like, weird? Oh, big time, dude. We could be getting looked at. We could be getting fucking watched. We could be getting yeah. followed. There could be all types of shit the, fucking... The door? Waiting was, for was us. someone coming or going? 
Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, what is that? Did someone come in here before yeah. we got here? Or did someone leave when we got here? I don't know. I don't either. Can you phone them up and All find right. out? Uh, I'm going to drive to Congress. Okay. Inside. All right. We're here to communicate with you. And I'm not sure who is present here, but whatever entity is here, can you please communicate with us through this device in my hand? We can use your energy and we can turn that into words if you would like to speak to us right now. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Were you coming or were you leaving? That's what she said. <laughs> you're the one that left that door open right there. Inner. Inner. Oh, inner. Inner. I remember saying to Colton, I wonder if it was something coming in or going out. And as soon as I said that, the ovulus triggers a word and says inner. Were you coming or were you leaving? If you're the one that left that door open right there. Enter? Inner. Hmm. They were in and now they're out, or they were outside and now they're inner? I, I'm unsure, really. So they yeah. came from inside. Does that mean they came from inside? or? No, they've just come in. They, they're inner now. They're inner now, my God! Did you come inside? That's what she said. <laughs> I don't outside. understand what that means. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Is there something you would like to tell us or the owners of this house? Wherever your presence is, you can talk to us. Scan. Scan. He's scanning, mate. What does that mean? You're scanning now. Maybe scan the house? Maybe. Yes. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, oh fuck! What just fucking happened? Something broke, and the chair just moved. Yeah. That chair just moved. And the right paper there. just fucking flew on the floor as well. The second we walk out of the room, I hear what sounds like a glass break, and then all of a sudden it sounds like dragging furniture across the tile floor. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh shit! What just fucking happened? A chair got pushed over, papers flew out, Colton was right behind me with his camera. We both captured it. I know that Colton got part of it, but I know I got all of it on my cell phone. They're actually asking us to scan right now. Shh. Oh shit. Shit. And people say, oh, well, you know, maybe it was a cut, maybe it was an edit. Listen, there is no way we could pull something like that off when there's just two of us in the house. I can assure you, we were the only ones on this location. What is it actually asking us to scan right now? Oh, shit. Fuck that, mate. Would you stay in there after what that the shit? Happened? Something broke. Rambo it, mate. chair just moved. Oh, my God. After enhancing the brightness of the post, Colton's camera did, in fact, capture most of the activity. Ooh. Watch again as it plays frame by frame. Yeah. Mate, was that a shadow bastard? Was that a shadow bastard that just moved across there? I don't know, mate. I'm spinning out. I'm spinning out. Oh, strange orbs floating immediately afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh shit! Mate, so we could have thrown that shit and then ran around here. Load 
Lucifer. Let more. I have no idea, dude. Supply, wind, plane. It's going nuts right now, too. How am I feeling like it's not even done, dude? Area. Area. Mate, My go over there. My hand is shaking, bro. What broke? Something broke. What's all this about? No, I think it was in the kitchen. Yep. As we approached the kitchen, I noticed that there was glass all over the floor. Um, it looked like maybe a wine glass or something. What? Yep. We got glass in here. Oh, mm, shit. There's glass everywhere in here. What was the chair that moved? Nice. Yes. Roach. A nice. Roach. A bloody roach. That's a strong ass roach, mate. Throwing a bloody glass. Just something evil. These people said that any time they've experienced any kind of strange paranormal activity within the home, there is like an increase in like pest activity as well. They said that's all the pests from the lake, mate. That she's taking with her. Right? You know? All the all all, all the all the uh insects and stuff probably eating right away at her body and then she's dragging it in, mate. Said that one time the sink was full of maggots when there was oh. noises and whispers happening within the house. They have said they have frogs, they have black racer snakes, they have spiders, cockroaches, maggots, all of these things they've experienced before. I've never heard of anything like this before. What? But I found it very, very strange that the moment we picked up something running through or running past the kitchen, there's just six or seven roaches crawling all over the countertop. I can't make this shit up. I don't know how to explain it, but it felt evil. It felt weird. Yeah. I don't like this at all. I told you I didn't like the way this place felt the minute we got here, bro. I think there's both felt like that. There's papers all over the floor yeah. over here. Yeah, I saw something move over here after the chair slid. It was almost like something came through here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like that's what I'm saying, mate. It threw, it threw the bloody paperwork, threw the chair away, and then got closer to them. That's why you saw the orbs, maybe. Chair moved, and then shit over here went flying. I'm positive I got that on the camera. What's the paperwork say? Is that the divorce papers or something? I've been watching far too much fucking horror movies. <laughs> you want to yes no right here? I mean, yeah. You want to breathe for a sec? Yeah, I was sick a sec, dude. And then, yeah, we'll grab something like What's with the up. fucking roaches, man? Like, one just ran behind this fucking garbage can. Like, it's all, like, here. Like, something bad is, like, here. Do a Ouija board in there, mate. Out, man. I just want to move away from this spot. Let's take a minute. All right. We decided to go get the yes no prism. We knew oh. that we needed to set up tests right here, right here in the kitchen where all this stuff just happened. We went out to the truck. Um, we stopped rolling just for a second. And when we were outside by the truck, we heard this loud slam coming from the barn or the stable area, whatever that building was off to the side. But we didn't have time to go there just yet because we just captured all this activity in the house. <laughs> Negative reactions, mate. Let's go. When this we is set up fucking the yes, brilliant. No prism in the kitchen. I was hooked into the hypersensitive EVP <laughs> tests. I was listening to see if I could hear anything abnormal with the microphone on like super, super high volume. This is kind of a new test that we've been doing, but a lot of times when we record EVPs, you know, we have to play it back to see if, if the EVP was captured on the audio device. We've just started doing this recently to where 
all the sound is enhanced and I can hear everything extra loud through the headphones. Oh, mate. I just hear a cockroach scratching his ass or something, you know? To let us know if you're here right now. Do you hear the clock? Clock, 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 clock. Mate, that is maximum hyper volume. Was that a fit of anger earlier? I just heard a boom noise. It sounded like it was from outside, but it was like a boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Yeah, I heard that, mate. Uh, while Cotton uh, uh, could not hear anything with his own ears, the enhanced microphone was able to capture. At normal microphone levels, the sound could be uh, could not be heard. I just heard a boom noise. Listen again with the enhanced microphone. Yes, mate. That is a damn good microphone. That's what I'm talking about, mate. Maximum microphone, please. I just heard a boom noise. It sounded like it was from outside, but it was like a boom, like bass heavy. I didn't hear anything. You didn't? No. Do you plan on communicating with us through one of these devices or just making noises? Oh, no way. What did you just ask it? I just said, do you plan on communicating through one of our devices? Or are you just plan on moving things? What is happening there? What is that? That's like a malfunction of the yes, no thing. It should be doing that. There's been times when we have our devices do some really weird shit, but the yes, no prism just saying no, 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 no. Over and over again. No, 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 there's no limits. That was the first time either one of us have experienced that, and it's literally on the corner, right where all the activity was going on. Whatever it is, it's staying right there, next to it. The cockroach just came back. Oh, fucking hell, mate. I'm just, I'm, I'm just imagining now a spirit just going, no, 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 no. Oh, God, man. This is freak as F. Look at you! Look at you! Bro, there's something. In this whole, look, there's another one. Look, 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 see that? See? Isn't that quite a common thing, though, in the States? I know you've got, obviously, um, especially, like, the, the location they're in now, you know? I thought it'd be quite common to have cockroaches and stuff. Obviously not in buildings, you, you know, you've got certain things that you can control with these pests and sprays and stuff like that. Um, but I thought it wouldn't be uncommon to see cockroaches, especially at, no at night, because they're nocturnal. Let's get out of here. Alright, yeah. You want to you wanna yeah, no. like a test in the barn? Yeah, sure. This is oh. just mesmerizing, and it's... No, but... This is weird. Like, this isn't, like, just regular activity. Like, this isn't, like, some peaceful shit. Like, there's something in here right now that's not good. Oh, shit, mate. He's... F I, I really feel like they're... They're really feeling a bit scared right now, you know? Because the way he said, should we just get out of here? Like, it's almost like... Like... I've had enough of this shit, mate. I don't, like... This isn't worth it. That's the way he said it, I think. It's almost like, no, I've, I've fucking had enough of this shit. You know? Almost like a, a, a bit of aggressive way. Outside! Sorry, I missed that bit. <laughs> shit is sketchy, bro. Yeah. Everything out here, man. Mate, you wait till the Ouija board comes out, mate. Maximum horror, please! We're gonna see a shadow bastard. Shush! 
Shush, shush. Like that right there. Like, why does it have to come right up to the edge of the woods? What? The end of this. Huh? Down there. Oh, yeah, I know. It sounded like one of these gates slammed earlier, didn't it? Or something, yeah. Is there anything in here? Is there any animals in here that we're, like, not... Someone just sleeping in there. Maybe right there, there fuck off! Animal out here. Maybe. Like something kicking the stall. Oh. I know you heard that. I'm hearing oh. everything, bro. The headless horseman, maybe. See, now it makes sense to me why these people are so fucking freaked out being here, you know? Yeah. yeah I get it. I don't want to be here anymore right now. Oh god, imagine buying a house and you get you, you like this is their first night in there. Imagine buying a house and you feel like that. Straight away, first night in there. Yeah, we'll buy it, mate. First night and you're shitting your brick. Wow. Oh mate, that'd be so, I'd be so pissed off. Let's set up the spirit box like right in the middle here. Look, we got I mean, we got chairs. I guess one of us could sit, right? Yeah, yeah. watch it, mate. You have a cockroach climbing up your asshole. Hit. There was some phrases coming through, a couple words. Honestly, it was hard for me to focus on because it was horrifyingly scary in there already. Yeah. And then we were both startled by a loud slam. Is this the one that was found in the lake? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> My first reaction was to mute the spirit box so i muted the spirit box and we were just listening for a moment trying to see if we could hear maybe another one or like any kind of follow-up noises mate that wasn't subtle run I can't explain to you what emotionally and mentally went on there. It was like everything that I had a choice of to think about shut off and instinct just kicked in. Shit in hell, mate. That sounded like multiple doors. Everything around us was rumbling. It felt like the whole barn or stall was gonna get lifted off of the fucking ground. Oh, I'm telling you right now, I'm over it, dude. Yeah. Motherfucker, I'm gone. I'm gone. I knew that when I left the stalls, I was just more concerned with my safety at the time. Um, but we left a device in there. Oh shit. Leave it, mate. Fucking leave it. I left the spirit box. Well, just run in there and do it like a, a commando army roll I'm and roll out on the same, in the same breath. I'm not going in there for Dude, that. Dude, I'm not going back in there. Come on, Rambo it. Come on. I got to the point where I said, fuck it, let's just leave the spirit box. <sighs> I feel like I've been in this position so many times to where I've felt this kind of fear 
at different locations and it was almost like there was a part of me that was challenging me. I, my mind isn't even ready to form words yet. I'm hyperventilating still. And Casey takes off down the fucking tunnel. God. What? Oh, he's getting it. He's ramming it, mate. Go on, boy. Go on, boy. Run! Let's leave, dude. Yeah, let's get the fuck on, man. Yeah. The second Casey makes it back with the spirit box, there's one second of silence and then crash. Let's go. A splash? What the fuck was Jump that, that? dude? Sounds like someone did a cannonball. This sounded like someone cannonballed into the fucking lake. That's the only way that I could explain it. It was loud, there was bass to it. Let's go. Tell me you heard what that. What the fuck was Tell that, that? dude? Sounds like someone did a cannonball. There's no way. What? Peggy! Dude, fuck that. And the one place that we hadn't really investigated yet was the lake. Oh shit in hell. Unholy waters! The next step that we could go to get something to speak to us was the Ouija board. Oh, and we remembered that the woman's body was found in the lake. A lot of times the location of death is one of the places that we try our hardest to communicate with the entities because they're familiar with the area where their body was. Would you get the fucking Ouija board after experiencing that shit, mate? Found and um, we decided we would run one last test on the dock by the lake. One. Two, three. Nah. F that shit, mate. Imagine her now, right here. J just, just go like this, going. <laughs> hey, with long black hair, that. <sighs> oh God. Whatever is here, are you evil? We set up a Ouija board on the dock and we began asking questions. Do you want to harm us? Are you the one that's causing all these problems here at this lake? We were hearing little splashes here and there. Um, those definitely could have been fish, possibly. Are you vengeful? Did someone in this family do something to you? You've already done so much tonight. Can you please move this planchette and give us a message? You can use our energy through this board to spell something out if you would like to give us a message. You can use yes, no. Towards the end. So loud out there, isn't it? board session. We both heard a splash that sounded somewhat close to us. And what we saw next? will affect every night of sleep that I have for the rest of my life. Oh shit. Oh sh the war oh fucking hell mate, you can read it, you can read it. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking right, let's go mate. I'm, I'm watching this mate. I'm watching this. Is there more than one of you here? Can you give us an initial? Can you give us your name? Can you give us anything? Oh shit. How? Oh! What the fuck? Fuck this. When we looked out to the lake to see. Oh, oh fucking hell, mate. Oh shit. Look, look at it. Look at the chicken. Look at the, look at the chicken. Look at the chicken. Can you see the chicken? Huh? Look. The fucking. Oh, shit in hell.
what was me. And it's, it, I've got two white lights going against my legs, okay? They're more tan than that. Making this noise. What the f oh mate Fuck. mate come on let's enhance that please I could see what clearly looked like to me I mean crystal clear the top of like a woman's head peeking at us out of the water Oh fuck me please en enhance the shit mate He's like <laughs> photo bomb <laughs> I could see eyes I could see hair I can see wet hair. You have no idea what it's like to experience that type of thing. And so without even a second thought or look or guess or asking each other's opinion, we were fucking gone. We ran. I don't care what the critics say. I don't care what people at home saying. It was fucking scary. It's by far the scariest thing that I've ever seen with my own eyes. Shit, man. What the fuck? Okay, let me... Can I see this here? Can I see this here? Let me just go... It's so... Oh, fuck! See, one more time. Brightness enhanced. Oh, like what am I? What am I seeing? I wish I could see that. He said the top of her head. I needed a little bit of time after this to think it over. I need a little room, just a my own investigation. We actually had to cancel two other locations after we did this one. Oh shit. Because I didn't want to do it anymore. I didn't. When we got in the car, both of us were dead silence with each other. And the first word to break the silence was from Casey. And he was talking immediately just frantically about how he can't do this anymore. And he wanted to like legit stop investigating these paranormal locations. And I told Colton, I said, listen, man, I've been doing this for a long time and I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Like, I'm honestly at my limit. I'm tired. Like, I can't keep seeing shit like this. I can't keep experiencing shit like this. The passion has turned to just danger. Like, what's, what do we do with energy and with entities and things that we experience that no one has a deterrent or answer for. I think I see what I think I see it now. I, I'm, I'm sort of picturing it. It's like the hair is just dragging over the face like that. And then just, sure, let's go to the next location tomorrow and see if we see anything. This was enough for a lifetime. Everything that we do is this pseudoscience speculative kind of genre that maybe a few people out there say, yeah, I know for sure, but no one does. And so I understand where the guy's coming from. I've just never heard him talk like that. Like I'm hanging it up right now in the second. Fuck everything that I've done for the past five, 10 years. That's it for me. This felt like the closest I've ever come to that. Like this felt evil with the roaches, with the glass breaking, with the thing running through the kitchen, the, the stables rumbling, seeing a woman coming out of the lake. I wouldn't do a follow-up investigation. Though. Even if it was highly commented on, please go back. I'm not going back to that location ever again. Shit, mate. In fact, one million likes and I will. <laughs> we need a little downtime and took a few weeks to gather our thoughts after this investigation. Shit. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Mate. The woman in the lake! Mind CTV. Get the merch at Kespersite.com. Just Rambo it. 
Holy moly, that was bloody brilliant, mate. Thank you so much for sending me. I mean, I would have seen it anyway because I'm subscribed to Mind TV. I always watch their shit, mate, because it's absolutely bloody amazing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked it, and I hope you come back to see another one. Okay, you take care. Bye-bye.